Welcome back to Metro Exodus. In the last episode, we explored this little tucked away camp here, which I think was probably occupied by the Freedom Fighters. Free people of the canyon, I think that's what the symbols mean. And at the end of the last episode, I said that I think it's time to go to the lighthouse and help that person out. Remember, there's somebody being besieged by thugs up there asking for our help, saying they'll help us like, get into the communication center if we help them. And I'm going to, of course. But before that, I want to keep going a little bit north because there's a little bit more to this road. Freaking bunny, so loud. Two knives. Oh, right, I lost a bunch of my knives in that cave over there that I couldn't get up to. Oh, there's... <laughs> Holy crap, <laughs> that's really bright. There's a bunch of thugs around here and a bunch of lights. What do they got going on up here? Oh, hello. Remember, this is a silenced gun, so I don't think I'll alert anybody. Yeah, we're fine. They're just sitting down, taking a nap. Well, it's nighttime. It's a good time to come in here stealthily. Yeah, they got searchlights going on everywhere. What are they trying to protect over here? How did they get up there? Do I just need to start climbing this rock? Ooh. Uh, I don't think that's gonna work. I could just get past them, like I don't have to take them out. But you know, I want to. Oh god. Do you think I can shoot out the lights? Oh, they would definitely know something was up if I did that. They hurt me. Are they about to start shooting though? Are we good? Yeah, we're good. So I see a ladder right there, but it just goes down a tiny bit. Doesn't really go anywhere. I think I might just go ahead and go past them. I am curious though, can I shoot out their lights? Yes, you can. Obviously it gets their attention, but what are they going to do? Oh, how weird. All your lights systematically going out. Bizarre. <laughs> I don't hear battle music, so I think we're okay. I don't think they've been activated. Can I shoot the moon to put that light out? They're not talking to me, right? I mean, they can't see me. 
Who are they talking to? Good luck with that. What the? Wait, what? I don't actually see anybody. I just hear him. not really there are they nope nope it's just like okay this is basically the game saying you know what you can't come here not right now it's extremely heavily heavily fortified and totally out of your reach probably have to come back here later during some like quest thing in that case let's go to the lighthouse i hope there's a robo we can take to check out all those ships Can't be marked. Probably can't go to the ships then if I can't mark them. Remember we read that note though, talking about a shipping container being left, like just dropped in the sea after a storm? It makes me think we can get something. But then again, you know what? This whole place has been drained, right? The water level used to be way higher. Maybe it's just one of the shipping containers just out here. Because it used to be water. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, that's just a radio. Yeah, we're good. She killed a dozen of them already. Damn good shot. Lower them to a gas fence. Smart. <laughs> oh, filters. Guess I'm going to need them. Toasty. What the fuck are you doing smoking here? <laughs> smoking kills. Take down. That's interesting. Okay, let's be more careful. Uh, 
This is one of the slaves here, right? Not the one burning, or, or burned, but this one trying to help them. Hmm. I've noticed, uh, when I loaded my save game, I had to go through the section back there a couple times, or actually I chose to because I kept noticing something. That person that came out who was uh, burned and, and just like a minute away from dying, I noticed if I shot them before they actually died, you hear that noise, the one you just heard there. It's triggered when you kill them, not when they die. If they die naturally, it doesn't happen, only if you shoot them. That makes me think it's like a bad karma sound. But why would it be? I mean, they're in pain. They're going to die. Just putting them out of their misery, right? I guess the nicest thing to do is just leave them in pain? Okay. Oh, so many filters. Letter to Sun. Sun, you were asking about that Gil broad. What I know about where she is and where she comes from. I have no idea why you're interested, but I do have a lot to say. In the very beginning, the locals tried starting shit with us, uh, commotion-like. That led them nowhere, as the Baron knew that whoever has more guns owns the joint even back then. So he got most guns. And later, as the strongest, got all the other gang leaders to submit to him, so nobody would even think of going against his will. They didn't resist, as they'd need to bunch together to stand any chance, and they were too busy fighting between themselves to even try that. The locals that had no wheels just stayed low in their holes, hoping he'd just up and leave all by himself one day. But he didn't. Instead, he started making things right here. Then they went outside, but it was too little too late. We smashed them like they were nothing. Then they took to gorilla shit, gave us trouble for years. Like some boys go out on a patrol, and as soon as their cars turn around a hill, you hear shots. And when you get there, the cars are burning and the boys dead. How, who, where from, tough luck finding out. A lot of them would hide in the mountains. The ones that remained in the Baron's lands would tell tales and sing songs of the free ones, bring them food. That's when I first heard of that bitch Gil. She was still a little squirt back then, but was completely ruthless already, stone cold murderer. She'd leave nobody alive. Of course, the slaves were all her fans, like, oh, she's a girl, but she cuts the enemy up like nobody's business. So they started telling tales of her, too. Well, the Baron's nobody's fool. He knew how to deal with those bastards. We started taking hostages, executing ten slaves for one of our boys. Say, this village is helping the rebels. Put it to the torch. The local knows anything about the rebels. He's not going to die until he tells us everything. You catch the drift. Pretty soon, the slaves started avoiding them like the plague. Someone sees a slave talking to some suspicious guy. The slave's whole family gets the knife. A slave tells his master he saw someone suspicious. Good job, pal. Enjoy triple rations that moment forward, and the Baron's thanks. The slaves started selling those fucks to us in droves. We stepped our game up, too, and within a few years there was not much more they were not much more than a memory. That broad Gyul could well be the last. Once the Baron catches her, he'll throw the world's biggest party for the boys, you take my word. Just don't you ever think of saying of saying she's a witch and uses her spells to keep hiding from us. The Baron does not take lightly to such remarks. I saw him use his walking stick to beat some sense out of the dumbass he caught spreading that shit, saying, It's you incompetent sons of bitches who are too dumb to catch her, so you start retelling the slave tales. Beat the bastard to death. And I say he got his just desserts. That's about all I know. We tried to find out where she was born and who were her parents, but no dice there. Mom sends some home treats for you. Share them with the boys as customary. Give the Baron my warmest respects and gratitude. Also give a handshake to all the boys who still remember me. Jesus. Such a fucking disgusting letter. And then like, oh yeah, mom sends some treats for you. Here you go. Ugh. Okay. Well, this is making me like Gule a lot more. Not that I didn't like it to begin with. I didn't know anything about them to begin with. But now that I know that's the person we're trying to help... Now I really, really want to save them, because I want them to join us.
Oh. Wait, was this part of... Is this a trap from Giel as well? Do they plan this whole thing? To, like, attract all the thugs? And then just, to, like, fortify the place and lay traps? I think that's what they did. Smart. Not me to take that. I just desperately wanted to deactivate that and put it the light before that person came back. They tried to crawl out, crawl towards the light. view here. There's Gule. Got an infrared laser. They're not talking to me, are they? Oh, 
Oh god. I don't know if that was non-lethal. Thankfully, they're very focused. They're very focused on what's going on up there. Happy to help. Okay, gonna loot everybody in the meantime. There's a lot to loot. I guess they're like... They're wounded, they're down, they're still alive and moving, but I don't think I need to do anything with them. They're not the, thug, the thugs anyway, they're the slaves, I think. It's gonna be so much loot. Yep, I'll be there in like an hour. There's so much back here. Like this part even isn't even. I'm sure there's no bodies back here, but there's a bunch of stuff. Okay, uh, let's do that later then. Let's go to the lift. <sighs> Dang it! I always mean to hold down H, but then I hold down G. Man, just look at this view though. до война центр связи был мама работала офицер связи раньше брошен давно был там после война искал следы мама ничего не нашел брошен Гюль, услуга за услугу мы помогли вам помогите нашему человеку попасть в ноты хорошо я помогу артем надо найти архив он должен быть где-то рядом с командным центром. Ищи снимки за послевоенный период, только свежие. Года с 2013 -го. Да мир скоро будет там, можешь на него рассчитывать. Конец связи. 
Если идти сейчас надо, пока новый Мунай собака не приехал. Рабочий верстак. Если надо, пользуйся, да? Там всякие опасность может быть. Умный человек не ходит. Ты умный, но у тебя выбор нет. They're a really cool looking character. They're really pretty. Looks like they made this home up here. And they said we should go now. Does that mean I... Like, do we have to? Do we really have to? Can I not go back down? I'm, I'm just like super worried about prematurely ending this entire level. But I mean, that can't be the end, right? It'd have to be something involving the train. Uh, be there in a minute. I do want to get rid of the night vision scope on the bulldog. Bulldog. I keep wanting to call it a bull pup because that's like a gun name that I'm familiar with, but it's a bulldog. Um. Well, I don't need to make medkits or anything like that. I guess I'll make one. That's fine. Got tons of filters. I really do have a really good amount of ammunition. I don't need to make ammunition. Let's make some more knives. Um, that's all fine. Yeah, that's fine. That's repaired. New attachments? Damn, this thing is dirty. Grip and handguard. Basic grip and handguard combo that makes a weapon more comfortable to use. That increases accuracy and reduces stability. I don't really need accuracy in a shotgun, right? I don't think. I don't know, maybe. Yeah, sure, I'll use it. Why not? Let's experiment with the new attachments. I probably should finally clean this thing. I was holding off on that because I thought I might not need to use it. But I could just keep going with this. I have tons of ammunition for it. Right. It's got a suppressor right now. I'm going to go to the standard barrel. Let's get rid of the suppressor. Let's get rid of the night vision scope. Just go with the reflex sight. Standard magazine, red laser. That's all good. Oh, and let's clean this thing. Like new. This, I, I don't think I'm going to bother with it still. I think I'll be fine. Put a red laser on that, I suppose? Yeah, I got two red lasers. Cool. Yeah, okay. I can't make ammunition when I'm on the road, though. Like, through my backpack. Except the steel balls, so maybe I should make some. I have so much, though. I have so much. I'm fine. Готов? Нет? Скорее тогда. Торопись, да? Uh. Oh, actually, since I might not be able to come up here again, I have no idea. I need to look around. The binoculars. Because this gives me an unparalleled view at everything. I didn't miss more, it's just the one thing, I guess. 
Okay, let's go. Да война красиво был. Море был. Пять лет мне был. Мама молодой был. Живой был. Теперь пустыня. Звери в уроды превращал. Люди в звери превращал. Народ Гюль в звери превращал. Не сам по себе. Нефтяной собака превращал. Море уходил. Нефть оставался. Старик умирал. Молодой оставался. Собак нефтяной слушал. Собака говорил. Он бог огня теперь. Молодой поверил. Пять лет война кончался. Мама умирал. Гюль один оставался. Oh, look at them hang upside down. It's the first time I've seen them do that. <gasps> That's fair. Can burn them. I thought there might be something up here, but now I don't think so. Uh, yep, yeah, sure. There could be something over here. This seems to be. No, there's like a broken fence. You could get around here even without getting up here. Is this somewhere I'm not supposed to be? Feels a little precarious. Okay, I'm out. Hmm, lovely. Spiders. Can we take the elevator? 